What's going on, guys? This is Off Color Discussion. What's up, people? How's everybody doing out in the world? Uh, Before we get into this week's episode, I just wanted to tell you guys, and Billy wanted to tell you guys, that we appreciate your support. Uh, We appreciate everybody coming in and supporting us, helping us build this. Um, It lets us know that we're, we're doing... We're doing the right path. We're on the right path of something, I think. Uh, Building this network, helping you who help us, people that we that come on. We try to help them as much as we can, and hopefully in return they help us, and that's how we grow. That's how they grow. Uh, That's that's how community grows. Um, But, yeah, for real, we we appreciate your support. We're over uh, 1,300 downloads since August. Um, each month is increasing, which means our audience is increasing. And I, I think we're, we're finally, we're picking up steam on the right path of what, what we want to do, what we're about. And it's, it's only going to get better from there. Uh, we got a lot of stuff lined up. I mean, this is only, we've been basically doing this since July, uh, went live on website and stuff, iTunes, August, and since then have been evolving and, and learning and growing and reaching out with people and getting to know people. And uh, we have a lot of stuff planned for the end of this year. And even looking into next year, we got a lot of big things planned. And we hope that people become a part of it. We want we want people to be a part of it. And that's why we're here. So. With that said, I'll save all the other stuff for the end. Let's just get into this week's guest. We came back with Brandon Gavin, uh, the the YouTuber for Down South Survival and the uh, the creator and uh, customizer of BCK Knives. Uh, all his all his pictures will be up. Links will be there, so you guys can find him on Instagram. If you want a custom knife, hit him up, man. He makes awesome quality detailed knives that are are sick i mean the pictures of the ones that he brought in this uh cleaver looking thing is just just vicious looking and it's nice it's a nice piece uh i'm actually having him build one for the studio so that way people guess when they come in they can check it out and then they'll go hit him up and again we help him he helps us that's that's how community grows and that's that's what we're that's what we're aiming for that's what we're going to be a part of um so again, thanks everybody for support. Brendan Gavin, Down South Survival, BCK Knives. He hit 100 downloads. We had him back in. Let's get into it. Numbers going up at all? Um, mm, not sure. Last time I looked, I think the last time when I was here, it was like 110. 102, something like that. I think it's like 128 or something now. Nah. So it's not crazy, but um, a lot of people watching the videos. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, you get more traffic? Seems like there's a little more traffic. Um, ton of people on the Instagram and Facebook and that stuff. Seems like they're following and that type of stuff. Um, I followed a bunch of knife guys on uh, Instagram, and they turned around and followed me right back, which I think that's what everybody does. But yeah, I mean, you get to cool. find your community, and the more you help them, they'll help you. Yeah, I, that's uh, all I follow there is all knife or tactical knife stuff on uh, Instagram, so you it's pretty cool. You don't need to follow fans. I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, <laughs> no. I mean, I just don't have time to do that anyway. It takes, you know, it takes time out of the day to just even look at the Facebook and then download all the pictures and all that stuff, and we're doing everything we can now to get just get the knives out there because man, it's crazy what work, you know. And then the move, I mean, the move sucked big time. You had to move your shop all the way across yeah. town, basically. Yeah, that that was that's that's been the biggest bite in the ass is doing that. Um, but whatever, I mean, it's set up now, so yeehaw. Did you get the extended roof built off the shed yet? No, I, I went and bought another shed just to take all the crap out of that shed and put it in another shed. <laughs> built Not, it in like three hours. <laughs> did I see you just got like a new vice that you yeah. found? Yeah. Dude. Did you clean that up already? Yep. Or did you find it that way? No. <laughs> yeah, I, was gonna that say, thing. I was going to say. <laughs> Dude, it was buried. only thing sticking out was 
the um, screw in which you where you tighten, yeah, yeah, yeah. tighten it up that was sticking out and i saw another part of just a vice head sticking out it was kind of like in the ground like in a weird angle and i'm like dude that looks like a damn vice that's a big ass vice it's huge <laughs> it weighs a freaking million pounds so the kids like that was with me the guy that works with me he's like i see a set of leaf springs and i'm like yeah it's cool i'm like let's get those and he's like um yeah, all right, we'll grab them. So he's digging in this pile, man. It's like this thing's like almost two stories. It looks huge. He's up on the top of that thing. And he pulls those out. He throws them down, and I see the vise. We dig that thing out of the ground, and then we get all the lawnmower blades. The lawnmower blades are just laying. There's there's probably a hundred of them laying in this one little spot. Nice. And I was like, yeah, score. <laughs> it's like seventy knives. That's fucking. That was a huge. Did you see the vice? Yeah, that, that thing looked huge. Giant. Nice. <laughs> it was very heavy. It's very heavy. It looks very heavy. <laughs> some steel brush, uh, PB blaster, some lithium grease, and some good as new. <laughs> it's good as new. That's fucking awesome. I like yeah. this new one that you got that you posted the other day. I'll have to. Uh, Is that that one right put there? The links the, the cleaver green one? one. The Reaper yeah. cleaver. Yeah, dude, that thing came out awesome. I love it. Now, what'd you call this? The handle. That's um pine straw micarta. Um, it's just pine straw. I dug out of the edge of the woods near the shop and threw it in fiberglass resin and pressed the piss out of it. It's the same thing as like, um, you know, like linen micarta or paper micarta. Um, just, you're just using different stuff, but it came out really nice. It was supposed to be more blue cause I put paint in it. Um, when I, when I mixed all the resin up and sharp, but it didn't come out blue. It came out green. And then I was going to dip it in ferric, and then I was like, you know what, leave it shiny. And then I changed the pins. So the pins in the in one of the videos were same pins as this, in this one here. Um, and then I was like, you know what, I need something to make that pop a little heavier. So I take them out and put a, the brass in the... Uh, it was like that Tommy Lee Jones fucking... The, <laughs> was it the hunted? The tracker. Fighting, uh, tracker. That's a tracker knife. I got some of those. I want to make one of those too. Get some of this other stuff done first. What did you say you dipped this other one in? Ferret chloride. Ferret chloride. It etches the metal. That and, thing's just beefy. And you stop the, the etching, because if you leave it on there, even if you try to wash it off with water, it'll still etch it for a while. You uh, use baking soda and water, and it, it you know kills the etch on it, so it doesn't keep on etching it. It's pretty cool. Hmm. And it came out weird. I, I mean, like the marking. Oh, it's all spotty and weird looking. This thing's like, you can just picture somebody eating a slab of beef off a fire on it. Straight up caveman style, yeah. like scraping bone. <laughs> Just, and that was the redwood. Remember I said on the, I think the last time I was here, I was saying about the redwood burl. Yeah. But I got, yeah. that's that redwood burl there. That came, man, that stuff's nice. It's beautiful. Came out really sweet. We're doing a new thing with, um, I think the last time maybe I was here, I, I might have talked about this too, Country Prepper. He guy had some issues with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's actually doing better, and he contacted me um, like Sunday. Maybe it was Sunday. Um, wants to do a collaboration. Um, I said maybe it was even last week, and I sent him an email, and then his email was all messed up. So then I threw him a shout out again on the on the video, and uh, he finally contacted me. He sent me a picture this morning, some stuff he wants, and uh, man, wait for this stuff to come out. It's gonna be awesome. So how do you collab with somebody? So else he's another making U- a knife. He's another YouTube guy. He um he actually makes um all the, like the Kydex sheets, but he makes some cool Kydex sheets. I mean, you've seen the ones I had last oh, time. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're yeah, I mean, they're so so. This guy makes full on. They got ferro rods in them, flashlights. Oh wow, um, dude, he's he's awesome. Um, there's a couple of guys on YouTube that does it, but him and this other guy. Um, was it Dave from Yellowhawk um, Kydex? Those two guys both are really good. And um, but anyway, he's getting better, so he wanted to me to make some stuff for him, and he's gonna make some stuff. And oh, then, sweet! Yeah, and then we're gonna. He, I can't give the whole thing away. And wait to yeah, 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 do yeah, the no, video, fine, but, uh, but I was gonna. Hey, I was gonna ask here. You do you guys doing like a collab thing for the video, like the. <laughs> process yeah, of making that can't let the information I can't, I can't you have to tune in and out. find yeah. out yeah he's got <laughs> right. go to his link and look at it <laughs> yeah go check out country what? prepper he'll have the video out i don't know in probably a couple of days or something like that that what he I, it's kind of more on him i don't want to give away his stuff he just asked me to do some stuff for him um 
and I'm happy to do that. So nice. But it's I've already got some pictures. It's gonna be badass. I mean, See? it's gonna be super badass. Um, I will say this: there might be some chances to win some stuff for free. Ooh. I like free. free. Free stuff's good. And it's going to be cool, badass shit for free, so. I got to admit, I feel bad because I feel I'm like the only person who's never heard of that Forge and Fire show. <laughs> I didn't hear of it till last time either. I, I, don't. I was telling my boss about it, and apparently everybody I know <laughs> has seen this. Yeah, a couple of my coworkers. In the dark, talked, dark like, on it. You never watched that? Nope. Um, <laughs> no, I, 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 do, I have seen a couple now, but I didn't realize that it was that popular, like. A lot of people knew about it, and I just felt in the dark on it. <laughs> it's probably one of the most watched TV shows right now. I really? Would, I would think so. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't watch a ton of TV. I mean, I, if it's on Hulu, I might have seen it in passing. Right. But, like I don't watch a ton of like live TV. So I I actually enjoy that show. I'm not big on TV myself either. Sometimes, um, but I I really like that show. Mm-hmm. Um, it is a competition show. Um, I've seen some stuff on that show. It was questionable. There's a video out about it actually being fake. Um, like on YouTube, the show in the, see that's where I watched it go. I I don't know if they were condensed episodes or if they were seemed a little choppy, but that's where I watched them was on YouTube. I just looked it up. And, I think I lost faith in any uh, reality TV show like that. Storage when, Wars. Yeah. After oh, yeah. after after, after that. It came out and then everybody was like releasing all the secrets like well even um uh when they're shopping for the home fucking um house hunters oh yeah so they're they're not looking at three houses they already know the house that they bought the other two belong to friends that they're like hey we'll pay you 500 bucks let us move everything out of your house show it and then we'll we'll put all your shit back and but they fucked over a lot of people too and that's why people came out and were pissed but at the same time like your shit's a fraud man like that shit got it hurt my feelings i like the show (laughs) i was especially storage Storage wars Wars. (laughs) man that shit it was it gave you something like oh maybe i could buy one and and obviously you're not always going to find something but at least gave you like a hope and then you're like well they plant stuff oh well, I know there's never going to be a chance that somebody's going to plant some shit on mine. So they do sell up. that shit though, like that. Yeah, yeah, the auctions. Yeah, yeah. my yeah, friend, my friend's stepfather actually bought one and had a, a Model T in it with the plans and everything, and sold it for like probably not as much as what he could have got. Right, but I don't know. It shook my world. I started doubting a lot of things, like Ghost Hunters. Is that really real? Is it, is oh, it man, a fake show? That's bullshit. <laughs> shit. Like, they, come on. Yeah, you know no. that shit's bullshit when they're like, no, like what pa- was that? Never seen nothing. <laughs> right. No, I, like Pawn Stars was one of the ones that was on that same time where I was just like, this. there's no way they're getting this much cool shit in here. This ain't real. Storage Wars broke my heart. <laughs> yeah, but something happened with the Pawn Stars, too. I thought they were in the news yeah. or something. Yeah. That um, was a while Chum after, Lee? but yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, arms and meth? Yeah. Oh, that, that doesn't surprise me. I don't know. He's a big dude, man. Yeah, he's a big, <laughs> he's a big dude, actually, so maybe that does surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> that surprised me. I was like, Chum Lee? Maybe yeah, somebody's look at uh, Chris Farley. He was blowing lines of coke. Yeah, and whiskey. Mm. The, it's the whiskey puts the calories back on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. cocaine's just yeah. a balancer. <laughs> Keeps you so you can drink more whiskey. From what I hear. <laughs> but, yeah. Storage bars and constructions fucking crazy through the wall, huh? Crazy. crazy, crazy, crazy. So, like I was saying, I set up, I, I built a whole nother shed just to get all the stuff out of my work shed so I could have that and get all the stuff out of the woodshed so I can put wood in the woodshed for the winter. Dude, it, it's insane. You know what I mean? So then I was like, all right, I'll make more knives or I'll be able to make more knives. This is like it that I've done because i ran out of metal too so now that we got metal and if you hadn't called me today i would have been over there making some knives and the kid that works for me helped me set up so we got when we got i got a new vice that we found got drill press new nice new bench grinder got the anvil in there and got everything cleaned up lighting fan New window in there so you can see. Set up. Nice. So now I can just crank out knives. But it's going home. You know, I'm getting home 7, 8 o'clock. Dark early or not. 
Which, really anymore, but fall time. Yeah, which, I mean, I don't care about that. But, you have lights out there? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's lit it's up lit like up. a Christmas tree out there. You know, it's crazy. But, um, you know, now, at least now, you know, finding the steel, that's a big thing. So now we can get back to it and make some cool knives. Um, next purchase is going to be a welder. So I can do Damascus. Um, I'm gonna, I got all that cable. I was telling you about the steel ropes. Yeah. Now that I got, and that's the other thing. So the kid that works for me wants to give it a shot. He went and helped me find all the stuff yesterday, all the steel and all that vice and stuff. And there's another kid that's at a local store down here. Went and got propane the other day for the forges. And this kid's like, oh, I want to give it a shot. And he's an inspiring blacksmith. So I think he's probably I don't know, 18, 19, something like that. Both of them's got pretty good arms on. I'm like, hey, you know, swing some sledgehammers and make some stuff. Nice. Fun, fun. Start we, turning out some shit quick. Go to like a, like the flea market, and set up shop. Yeah, I don't know. That I'd get money that from the flea market for what we do. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't want to deal with all them hagglers. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I don't know <laughs> what the, the story is, but I mean, for me to make this for somebody, um, they it's gonna cost. You know what I mean? He's not. These knives ain't gonna be under. Probably a hundred bucks anymore. You know what I mean, it's gonna be. It takes so much time, so much effort. Oh, yeah, I would imagine. Um, I mean, if if it was for friends or family, that'd be a different story. But somebody calls me and wants a knife, it's gonna be what the time I have in it. Um, you know, my construction company, I make fifty five an hour, sixty an hour, so it's gonna have to at least be mm. the same thing or better. Because you know, I'm not just putting up a wall for you. I'm building you a custom blade, and it's a one off custom blade. I don't copy. Yeah, so I guess that's. You can either mass produce it or custom. Yeah, th- and I think that's more. Have you um, been to a flea market lately? Have you ever heard anybody pay the price that's stick on that thing ever? No, but if you're if you're you make like ten cookie cutter fucking blades, you know what I mean. Nothing overly special, but enough to like put into it. But again, based off of your time, because you also have the other job, it's. It's not easy, but if you got two young kids that if they want to practice, then you have them make your little cookie cutter knives to take to a flea market to 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 start selling and get the word out, and then you can also then the the ones that you'll get the people that will buy it because they want a fucking knife or whatever. But then you'll also catch the eye of somebody looking, and then you can at least advertise there that yeah, I do custom ones, ain't gonna be this price, but you can let them and let them know like and then. Can you sell you them at the a, fair? A, yeah, I would I imagine so. be just like a flea market. You just got to rent the booth. You know what right. I mean? Like all things are way more expensive at the fair. <laughs> but I know, like, uh, you figure out places to do them. Like, there's yeah. Well, I the reason I say that is because it's like what two months. There's like three or four major fairs. It's not even like a weekend thing. Yeah. And you can sell them for whatever. I mean, I've seen some pretty expensive shit there. Jewelry. I mean, people sell a lot of that handmade stuff. I saw that at Laconia last year. Um, like the bike week yeah so oh, nice. where i got actually where i got my vest at my leather vest that's got the um the pistol pockets in it um there was a guy the same guy had knives right there that he was selling they were some cool knives man for yeah. they weren't cheap money either they were you know 120 plus and he had some cleavers and he had some blades and he had some you know, fantasy looking style blades or whatever, and I think I think one of those cleavers was like I don't want to say it was like almost three hundred bucks. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Custom yeah, blades are expensive. I mean you go on oh, like, yeah. Jay Nielsen, the guy that's on Forged and Fire. Yeah. Go look at one of his blades. Dude, they're five hundred bucks. Holy shit. But it's the name. You know what I mean? Um the guy that was on Forged and Fire a while back, um Rowdy, he was a cowboy in the Smoky Mountains. And my dad said he went, they go there all the time, Pigeon Forge and uh, Gatlinburg. He said he went up there and he goes, dude, that guy's got a business and it's, they make railroad spike knives. He goes, and you can actually go in there and hammer for 75 bucks. You can go in there and hammer out your blade. They'll finish it out for you. And 75 bucks. He goes, there's a freaking line down the road for people lined up to make that blade. Really? Yeah. Just go in and pound out their own blade. Yep. Have it touched off. Wow. But- did you make that one yet? No, those are the designs I did last night and uh, this morning. Dude, that one looks like it. Yeah. But then, yeah, so 
if if these kids are serious, you should give them give them a task, man. Fucking oh yeah, have them have them do cookie cutters. You could sell it. Have your drawings and that so you can see where they get the stencils and then and then the knives too and just. Well, that's what I did with him yesterday. I was like. I mean, it's kind of like being at work. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, get this, go get that, do this, do that, and I'm like, all right, we need we need both of those oak logs so we can set the anvil up. He's like, Jesus Christ! I'm like, hey, this is what I have to do if I'm doing it by myself. Yeah, if you're not, yeah, if you're not here, this is all me. So right, right. I'm like, if you're committed, you're committed. If you're not, you're wasting your time. I'm like, there's a lot and of work. This. Right. So I told him I was like, "Listen, I'm like, we're gonna fire the forge up in a minute. I'm like, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna pound out on this bl- blade, and we're just gonna get it ready to go. When you come back tomorrow with your design, we'll put it on here, get everything kind of shaped out with an anvil, and I'll let you swing the hammer and do some grinding and blah 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 blah. I was like, we'll get it all set up. Didn't come back with the design today. I'm like, you better come back with one tomorrow because I'm gonna find somebody else that wants to do it if you're not committed to it. But you know, everybody says, oh, I want to make a blade, I want to make a blade. Yeah, until you realize the work that has to go into that shit right. to make it look good, and then you're like, fuck that. Well, that, and then, you know, you turn that forge on, and it gets about, you know, 120 degrees in there. Can't sick. take the heat. Well, it gets, in the wintertime, it gets a lot easier, because yeah. it's freezing-ass cold, and you're basically heating the shop with a forge. You work slow down in the winter at all, or no? It's fucking, you're just straight out, huh? Yeah. yeah. More inside stuff. The All that side and stuff. that and the plowing. I mean, it's um, oh, you plow too. Yeah. Now, do you do residentials or commercials? We are not going to do residentials this year. We are going to do commercial only. Nice, because that is residentials uh, a pain in the ass. Total. Like, I mean, it can't for for someone who has uh, like a pickup truck and a plow. You know, like if you get a fairly new pickup truck and a nice plow, and you want to do ten driveways for your friends and family for cheap money, like it can be worth it. But for a business to do residentials, it sucks. Well, people don't want to pay for it. I mean, no. people are like, oh, 35 bucks. Oh, this guy will do it for 20 I'm like, well, let him beat his truck up for 20 bucks because it takes me that long just to get out here and I got to go through all the crap just to get to your house. Right. People um, who have never plowed don't realize how much abuse your vehicle takes oh, yeah. just in one snowstorm. I mean, the amount of backing up and driving and like slamming into the snowbanks, like a lot of people just don't realize it. Yeah. <laughs> like 35 40 bucks to get my giant ass driveway done Come yeah on. you gotta replace the ball joints and everything the next year so right you're beating the hell out of your truck then and then you're out all night and salt and sand eating up your truck so people don't understand any of that i stuff. like i it. mean it's it's the same thing with making these knives you know i mean it's beating your truck up or beating your body up or making a knife blade it's all it's all work hmm. so people you know they don't want to pay for it but somebody that truly you know, and understands the craft and what it takes to make these things. You know, they appreciate that type of stuff. But beating on a blade for a couple of hours, yeah, that sucks. It's a lot of work. It's a ton yeah. of work. It's a lot, and it's a lot of like force to just go straight down and stop. Like there's no, you know, playing with a lot of play there. Like that's a hard hit all the time, right? And it, and you got to be precise. I mean, people think, oh, blacksmiths are out there. They're just hitting that with a hammer, and they're not. They don't know what they're doing. They, I'm pretty they, sure they're fucking aiming and keeping their eyes open all the time. <laughs> yeah, so I showed that kid yesterday. I was like, listen, I'm like, watch me hit this blade. I'm going to hit this blade right here four times. I'm going to move over and hit this four times. I'm going to move over and hit this four times. I'm like, and then we're going to flatten it back out. And every time I hit it, I hit it in the same spot. I'm like, hey, I'm give it a shot. Dude, he hit it here, back left, right, <laughs> over the top, down in the Hammer bottom. almost came pretty, up in his face. <laughs> I, he's, I mean, he's a pretty strong kid, so yeah. he was... He was moving some metal, but I'm like, you gotta be precise. I'm like, you yeah, know, you want to, sure. you want to get it same. stretched out a little bit. Okay, I mean, you can just smash metal. I'm like, but when you when it comes down to it, and you're gonna make knife blade. I'm like, we gotta be straight. You know, what I mean, I mean, we grind or fix a lot of stuff, but right, you you flatten it out too much, we can't put it back in there. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have the skill. You can fix a little bit of mistake, but <laughs> right, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. So you think he's coming back tomorrow with something? I hope so. He's got a he's got a good drive. I mean, kid's twenty two years old, um, which is kind of weird that he's a hard worker as he is um, at that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so I've been that, through. I, really, I worked hard at that age. Yeah, yeah but, so did I. So but did still, I. Uh, still self entitled, right? But this ain't in this ain't the same as it used to be. Yeah, so. but I mean, you gotta 
I got 45 year olds that don't work. I mean, I don't want to broad stroke everybody in that age range. My experience with kids in that age range, and I shouldn't say kids because they're not they're not really kids. But to me, they kind of are. They're kids, right? But like, anybody below below me by two years, I call kid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're sub 30, then maybe, I mean, I guess it's still good. But, yeah, I mean, the the guys we hire in that age range, they Sucks. just, it's not that they, not all of them suck. Just none of them are motivated. They just want it all handed to them. Like, like a lot, lot of them sucking. can be, <laughs> well, a lot of them can be good workers. Like, they work hard, but then it's the extra shit that never gets <laughs> like right. like i've been here for my eights i'm out <laughs> like that's kind of i see a lot of but i don't know it's it is strange to see someone of that age range with like if it's not media driven or like content driven to grind out they're not a <laughs> physical manual labor doesn't really peak a lot of interest nowadays no but I, I going back to that stupid show i mean well, not stupid show but that show force and fire I, i've seen over the past few weeks i've seen a lot of those kids um, younger and younger and younger that's on the show, um, which is kind of cool. I mean, all these kids are, it's all about computers and telephones and technology and all this stuff. And I like to see people go back to the old stuff. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Some of these kids are, well, some people should, not, it, not everybody's so. fit for technology. You know what I mean? Like either some people, like I, I don't think the people that stream on YouTube and do that, I, I think I would have a hard time uh sitting there for as long as they do or even like just editing stuff down to to make sure that it's good enough all the time i think i would get oh yeah a lot of those kids and i mean a lot of them are 25 or less 25 or younger that's all they do they grind out 15 20 minute videos that's a good shit (laughs) 15 20 minute you know minute videos three times a week Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's oh, like that that kid Dan TDM, TDM dude. That kid puts out videos nonstop. Man. Well, yeah, like, I mean, it's, he lives on that thing, man. man it's crazy. Now, you would think, like, as much as that kid can post, I'm, I'm not super familiar with him. I know he's a Minecraft guy, and he does uh, he does uh, a lot of stuff. But he he streams games and and stuff yeah. like that. He's all gaming, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Although I mean, his world tour thing that he did, it was still like a was a theater show based off his gaming thing like that was all right um and like he has a i think he's on like youtube red or yeah yeah whatever youtube uh subscription thing is so i don't know what i, I don't know if it's the same show or or what that's oh, about I, but i, I know like his game different. his gaming ones uh he's done other ones like fucking bottle flipping and shit oh like that God, alexander's into that thing too bottle flipping i'm like what? i don't know I, I see a lot of like vlogging real life stuff like yeah. some, of the, some of the people i follow are like competitive gamers so you see you don't just see them sitting at a desk grinding around like grinding out gaming it's you know what happens in between them and their competitions and like follow they, it's almost and, but like those uh, guys release it like three or four times a week you know you're getting four videos a week dude, <laughs> he's like, like 15... four times a day really four times a day yeah holy crap yeah dude that kid puts out Content, content. Yeah. like it's you gotta admire the the work ethic, but I mean, back to what we were saying. It's but he not vlogs physical. too, like his dog passed, and oh, he does, yeah, like and he he put that stuff out. Like it depends on what it was, and he did his when he went on tour. Like he started over, you know, he's from the UK, so he started over there and went to Australia, and he vlogged the whole time. You didn't see the, what the show was, and I'll say for having as big a following as he did. That shit was kept quiet. Like we had no fucking idea of what was going on. There wasn't like any mention of it, of what had happened. He's up in like so, the million, like yeah. tens of millions just of hit, followers. He right? hits. I think the last time you were on, I think he had just hit sixteen million. That's a lot of motherfucking subscribers. People. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. of like, motherfucking that's subscribers. Insane, yeah, that's not dude. views. Like, <laughs> and he's good because he's. I can let my kids watch. I can let my five year old watch him and not worry that. He's going to say some stupid shit like PewDiePie. And I get it. Not everyone's meant for that kid. But at least I know that if my older one's watching him, I don't have to worry about her coming into something that it's like, yeah, you shouldn't hear that shit. Although I'm horrible because I watched uh, Bitch Better Have My Money by Rihanna with her. And if you've ever seen that video, whoo, it's a dope video. Uh <laughs> <laughs> not for a five <laughs> not for a five but then even uh the punisher's trailer i watched that with her because i was so impressed did you see the punisher's trailer for the nah, new netflix yeah. holy shit dude they do uh 
Metallica's the one, and all the all the. I mean, they they pulled it from Comic Con because the shit in Vegas. So it's I'm not highlighting that, but whatever. Every like click to the gun of the shot was to the drum beat. Holy shit, dude! That was a dope they didn't pull the, ass the trailer. trailer. Did they? No, they just no, pulled no, it no. From he just did Comic Con. Yeah, okay. he just didn't go to Comic Con because it was it was the right after. So they yeah, they just pulled the panel taste. from. Yes and no. Shit, it happens. It does. Acknowledge it, understand it, but they're not glorifying. It's a fucking TV show. Because this TV show is on, that's not what. That's not why that happened. No, that's you not I mean? why like, that happened. That's not what I'm saying. But you can't say they don't glorify the violence in the show. The show's based off of violence, yeah. <laughs> which is fine with me. I'll watch it. It's entertaining. But yeah, but he he's killing bad guys, man. It's not like he's going after the good guys. That's true. So, but anyways, the but the but the trailer was impressive because of how it was cut with the beat like it was just it was sick dude. Did, that's a sick ass did your five-year-old appreciate the, the uh, audio editing i hope so i mean i explained it to her and, <laughs> and she likes that shit anyway she's she's in the middle so that's she, more what i was trying to focus on it wasn't she pegs me as a metal chick yeah, oh yeah yeah it's i mean it's i could see her just you know body likes, surfing across the uh, yeah, i don't Devil know about that but she likes everything. oh yeah she likes slipknot Oh, so she's mild into the. Uh, when she was three, we were when we were down in Pennsylvania. We were listening to uh, "Bodies Hit the Floor," and when he screams, she was sitting at the table screaming, rocking out with it. Like it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Just, Wah! I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> release so, the rage. <laughs> <laughs> so like it was how does she, a three-year-old get that crazy. angry i don't know like you with whole fruit snacks <laughs> yeah, I guess like, so, dude. <laughs> like it was funny as hell so she'll she'll do metal I, i'll wake her up sometimes uh what was the last one i woke her up with uh system of a down mm. uh was just it set that on the dresser walk no out. uh chop suey, chop suey yeah, yeah. <laughs> wake up brush your teeth with all the up this fuck my daughter's pissed we didn't go see iron maiden she's like i want to go see iron maiden i'm like what <laughs> She's like, yeah, I want to go see Iron Maiden. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. They love that. They love Black Sabbath. I mean, they like country, too, because we listen to a lot of country, but she loves... Yeah, mine, too. I mean, I listen. That's what I grew up on was metal. I mean, it was, everything was metal. I mean, I was a long hair. I can't believe you cut the goatee. Man, that thing was... I, dude, what the fuck? Say, what happened? I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I got unruly. You just, like... Yeah, I chopped it off. <laughs> Fuck it. When the chin hairs start tickling the nose. <laughs> when you're riding on the Harley and it's like, up here. <laughs> yeah, it was time to go. And I mean, I, I need to start like, over tuck anyway. Can you like tuck it in your shirt or something? No. Oh, you don't, don't want to do the rubber band braid? No. no. Definitely don't want to do that. No. Somebody tried that one time. I was ready to beat them to death. I'm like, get away from me. But yeah. We Dude, but they could like, see ride, ride, while like riding their bike. Eight inches long, if not longer. Yeah, that, that was huge. huge. I showed the kid that works for me that. He's like, Jesus, dude, why'd you cut that? <laughs> I was like, hey. It takes, it takes a over. long time to <laughs> yeah, get there. It does. He's like, I have a full beard in like a month. I was like, all right. We'll see. That's Joe. I have a full beard. Yeah. He shaved it cleanly this morning and just trimmed it up. No, it was actually yesterday. <laughs> but yeah. He's like a Chia pet. <laughs> yeah, it's, if only it grew up here. <laughs> it just <laughs> all yeah. migrated south. You know, what I think I really fucked up. Uh, you remember the the like the infomercial? It was like a pad that you could just like rub on your arm. It was it was I guess it was mainly from women's legs. You just rub it on the hair, and it would just take off. All you had to do is rub oh, the yeah. pad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, man, let me let me fucking. I just want to get. I'm just gonna bake it, but I don't want to bake it. So I'll try that thing, right? So I start rubbing this thing on my fucking head, rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, and it's just some was coming off, but it was like sp- sp- patches. So like. <laughs> It was taking forever, so so then I look at the box. It says, "Yeah, it doesn't not for your head." Like, oh, shit! <laughs> well, I already started. So uh, finish up with the Floby. You got you got a razor in here. I need uh, I need a razor. Like, and I had spent like probably like twenty minutes rubbing on my fucking head before I read the box and said, "Yeah, it doesn't work." From there, so anyway, I hair, make mine. Hair girls, man. I'm fucking lazy. I hate shaving. Me too. It's such a fucking pain in the dick. If I had like Superman laser vision, I would use it to shave all the time. Oh yeah. I just cannot stand fucking shaving. Right off the mirror. Yeah. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Mine's you once a week. week. Once a week. That's all it takes. Yeah, but you know how fucking annoying it gets after a week? Right, but I can <sighs> do mine. That's, that's it. This tastes pretty good for... I did this. I just used the bald razor and... Sh- do my head, your, do my your, face. Your I, I ball razor? Can't. Bald. Bald razor? Yeah, it's, um, you know, with um, clippers. Uh, it's just the balding uh, yeah. one. It's like, it's past a zero. It things like takes it down to nothing. Jesus. I just hit my whole face, my head, and just jump in the shower and so Maybe that's what it was. If, if I had an electric one. I used to have a nose hair trimmer, but it broke. It probably didn't work on your head either, right? No, but it would try work. That. No, but it worked. <laughs> it worked in my, uh, my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break. Sure. Have another beer. It's a uh, Abel Ebenezer's La Marie Maryam, their culinary ale that they do mm. with the Bedford Village Inn. It's on a limited release. Oh, I've never had it, so I fucking yeah. I grabbed it. It's not a dark one, is it? No. Probably. No. I don't know. No, it's only a 5.0 ale. So oh, nice. So I answered the question, you know, about the story, about how I got started, yada, why I'm into music. And then at the end of that episode, I featured one of my songs that I have because I have a fucking CD. <laughs> it's so fascinating. We all it's, have it's, dude, it's, it's honestly like a, such a different life. I don't even know how to explain like that whole, that was like a, a completely different person. It's it's almost like I'm telling a story that I didn't actually live. I just know what happened. Like, it's fucking weird. But anyways, so I did that. And then um, since a friend of mine who knows I did music was like, dude, you should put one of your songs on every episode. I'm like, fuck that, dude. I'm not, I'm not here for that. This isn't about that. I'm not about that. Li-. Again, this is a completely different person story. It's, it's such a weird uh, feeling from knowing that to now. And that... <clears throat> but it gave me a die. We fucking love music, man. His dad made the fucking intro for us that we used at the beginning, at the end. Like, uh, I asked him for a drum solo because he can play a shit ton of instruments. And I, I give him a fucking drum solo, man. You play the drums. <laughs> I know your kit. Give me my damn drum solo. Stop being a, a greedy bitch. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope he hears it. Fucking <laughs> dude, give me. I want the drum solo. Don't give me some shit that was your throwaway thing and then want a royalty for it. Get the fuck. <laughs> We've seen the drum set. You shouldn't have posted the picture. I don't know you shit. You can don't. play. <laughs> so anyway, so but that gave me an idea that because we like music and I mean he's sick at rock band playing the drums. <laughs> you should see him. Do we rock out all the time? I play get- bass guitar. We get in there, sing some Bob Marley or whatever the fuck. We get down, but because. We like music. I started featuring and music, and since then, like that opened up a whole, a whole world. A whole new avenue, like, right there. It's like that. I think we finally found like where we're we're finding our audience. And the other thing, because we try a new beer every night, we got a new one to try tonight. Uh, I don't know why it took us. It took me until last week to go. Oh shit! Maybe I should be writing this down so that. People can, I need to start creating traffic to the site. So my plan is to have my beer reviews on there so that people can go there. Fucking Billy will throw in his two cents. I'll give it five burritos out of seven or however you want to, you want to label it. (laughs) And then people will go there. So that's my plan to create traffic to the site. Like I got to, I got to start getting more people to go there so we can start. Sponsors are going to look at that and. That's what I need. I need help supporting this thing, and we got to build the community first and give them good shit. So that's everybody what I plan that, on doing that see or listen to the podcast that we did loved it. I played it at a customer's house um, when we were there doing the work at their house, and they were standing there listening to it with us while we're doing the work at their house. Hey, yeah, dude, it was fun. It was Thanks. a blast. We've uh, had a lot of interesting <laughs> conversations since that one. Like, just we, uh, met some people. That's for sure. One of the episodes we just did uh, is a woman, a lot of Foden, Susco, Susco. I'm not again. I fucking forget how she said it, and I can't remember. I should probably just ask, but her Facebook just says a lot of Foden. But anyway, she's a comedian that runs fundraisers to help companies raise money using stand-up comedy. Plus, she holds a she hosts a couple comedy shows. One at the Budweiser Beer Garden in Merrimack. One at <clears throat> Soho and Hudson, but I forget exactly when that day is. I think one a Thursday a month or every Thursday. But she also sells sex toys. The wife, so, reco- <laughs> the wife recognized so, her name because apparently so, she's on she, so, the, the list. So 
Uh, so it was a lot of the, it was the most off color I think we've gotten so far to date because it was just, it was fun. Know. Yeah, it was fun. We talked about sex and dildos and penis and vaginas and beer and, and business and, and, and comedy and, and everything. But yeah. yeah, but it was, it was funny shit. Like it was a good time. That's awesome. So it, we definitely, I bet that would go pretty awesome. Well, yeah, I got dude, taken it's... by surprise because I didn't really know about her like sex line, her job. Yeah, yeah like, I did. <laughs> Yeah, he course definitely, did. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> let that one s- to stay under the radar. But I was just like, "Whoa, what? Okay, a- <laughs> I can roll with this." We talked about make sure you get your prostate exi- ex- uh, oh, yeah. your prostate Very examined important. and Very hope important. that he's experienced. And it was a uh, it was an interesting, fun conversation. Like it was, it, it was, was definitely off colored. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man, here's to your your hundred download on your first one for sure. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you told me that today. I just saw it today, like, where I went to Able to get the beer for tonight, sat down, looked at the number, saw it, I'm like, oh, no shit, fucking. What's the price? Hookers and cocaine? (laughs) (laughs) Me? A beer, a delicious one. All right. I assume so. Yeah. Well, the channel's at least doing good for you, and my channel seems to be doing pretty well, so I'm happy. You've been putting out a lot of content on that. I've been putting out a ton of content. We were down again. The move move sucked. I mean, the move just put a monkey wrench in the whole thing. It really did. Yeah, Um, but even still, you did that one to say that this has happened, like, there's going to be a break, you know what I mean? At At least to let people know that shit was going on. Yeah, and I mean, that's what we're trying to do is keep everybody happy. And, you know, we didn't want to lose any subscribers or piss people off because people want to see their YouTubes. You yes. Know? I mean, I, I'm subscribed to probably 100 people. And when they don't put something out, man, I get so bummed out. And I'm like, where's these people at? You know what I mean? But, I mean, everybody's got lives. And I'm like, I don't want to be that guy letting other, you know, everybody down, even if it's a look what we found at the scrapyard, you know? Right. Man, yeah, that's awesome. Be a little yeah, informative, too. Me. But mm-hmm. now that we're back into the spring of things, we're going to kill it. So you've been watching any football? No, I don't watch no. football. Do you watch hockey? Nope. No sports? No sports. None at all? None. I'm not a you sports got your night. you got your love of knife, knife making to keep you going. Yeah. My that, sports. So. I, I've never watched. You know what? I never got into sports. Uh, I love playing sports. I played football forever. Yeah. Um, And I like playing baseball and I like doing But I just was never... And I hate to say this in a New England basement, but I, I hate New England teams. Yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> you will shut your mouth. <laughs> never, see, never liked them. Yeah, oh. see, that's understandable. I mean, they, there are a lot of... I get it, people hate New England fans because some of them are shitty fans. Yeah, they're over the top. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean... Can I say New York all Yankees all and Giants all the way? Assholes. Yeah, you can score whoever you want in here. <laughs> kid that works for me is all... All New York teams. He's from New York. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So he he's that's all he rocks us. Hey, if he's a Yankees fan, I mean they're still in it. Oh yeah. So yeah. where are the Red Sox at? Firing, firing their manager and sitting at home. I, right right I did see so, that today. Yeah, that's a that's a mess over there. Oh yeah. That whole that whole old, whole organization. Yeah, I'll save that for. When Jim comes in, because he's gonna be fired up. That was another one. We, was that before or after? Uh, that was after. So I'll give a little spoof here about what's going to be going on with us pretty soon. We uh, we still taking orders for people that want whatever for like, knives for knives. Yeah. Um. But in the next probably, I'd say five videos to ten videos is going to be a lot of giveaways. Um. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you should subscribe because everybody that I'm hooked up with does a lot of giveaways too. Um. And we're going to be. Sp- I think between now and then, there's probably going to be, I'd say, 10 giveaways going down, all said and done, between everybody that I'm on YouTube and subscribe to and what I got going on. There's going to be a, there's going to be a good bit of stuff given away for free. Nice. And all you got to be is a sub and just, you know, comment and like and blah, blah, blah. And there you go. All that youtube stuff. Yeah, all the YouTube stuff. Um, I watched something the other day about patreon and people wanting to yep. make money and yep you know what a patreon is the patreon account i i got read some to it and then i started watching the videos about how people say they hate it and how it's bad for youtube and how well, youtube hates this you know what i think it i think it originally started with cosplayers they they started uh 
I think they that's how it started. They approached cosplayers who were doing Instagram photos, and they they do photo shoots, and they put them up as like a fan club thing. I like cosplayers. I mean, me too. Those girls are hot. Oh my god, there's there's like two or three of them that I follow on Instagram, and I mean not for the perverted reasons, but yeah, it is. like Jessica. And, uh, I can't remember how is it. I think it's Negri. She's yep. like she's like the queen of cosplay. Oh, yeah. She makes every fucking costume that she wears from ground up, and you see some of the costumes because obviously you're looking at me like I'm crazy, no, but he knows yeah, what I'm know, talking I, about. I, yeah. He knows what I'm talking about. The shit that she puts into like her costumes are just fucking crazy. Like she'll take video game characters, she'll take movie characters, and like the costumes almost look better than the game than than the games and the movies that oh, yeah. they're from. I've probably seen the photo, but I wouldn't recognize the name. I'll show you. I'll see if I can pull some up. Dude, some of those cosplayers. But there's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Meg yeah, Turney. So she's yeah, doing. So I, again, she used to I, be on. I've uh, seen a ton of the cosplay people. I never, never enough to look at their name. You like, remember? Uh, you remember G4 TV? That yeah, was on yeah, for a little while. Yeah. She started off on that with like Jessica Ch- uh, Chalbert. Um and a few other ones. Again, De- Meg Turney, and then she went no. over to like Achievement Hunter. And oh, really? Was working with them for a while. She did. Uh, she worked for. She actually worked for Rooster Teeth, and she did a lot of their news stuff there. Oh no! Shit. Reporting, and they had a few shows that she was part of. She doesn't work for them anymore, but she's into cosplaying more now. She's been for a while, but those. Uh, you've been? Have you ever been to like a Comic Con or something? Like any just kind a, of comic just a convention one that oh, they did, but you have yeah. been to one. Yeah. You know all those people that dress up. Yeah, I know what cosplay dope. is. Like, no, no, I, no, no, no. But you've probably seen her two or three of those people because they they go out and they just grind. They travel and they go to those things and they sign autographs. And but yeah, that's what I, I believe that's how Patreon started. It was interesting. A couple of people that approached some cosplayers to do photo shoots, kind of like subscribing to you know like a calendar service or whatever but yeah and that's how they ended up hmm. i don't know if that's exactly how it went down how easy <laughs> that was but yeah it's uh but yeah so a lot of the podcasts are going that way too because especially if they're on youtube so with youtube though they can um it's good and bad for youtube but it's kind of youtube's fault that patreon is starting to steal their content yeah that's what it's because reading. youtube stopped not all of them, but they, if they don't agree, basically with your views, it seems like, uh, of your video, especially if you're conservative. Again, it seems like that. Uh, no shit, huh? She does all her own Photoshop like a motherfucker. Yeah, she does uh, all her own costumes and makeup <clears throat> and shit like that. But they'll demonetize your stuff. So if you're if you're ex- counting on that fucking content to get money to pay your bills or do whatever and they're like no we don't like we don't you can't be spreading this shit of whatever you're talking about you're not getting paid for this one then you know it's fucked up so if if a company like patreon or somebody is gonna help you out then dude if people will pay for if you put on a good enough shit i wish i i had the money to pay people for their shit like there are people that put on that i listen to a lot of podcasts like that i wish i could help support like dave rubin is fucking I love his shit. He makes me so mad sometimes with the people that he has on and the shit that they talk about because I don't agree with it. But I listen to it and I get what he's saying. That's I cannot like what you like. And all right, man, that's there's eventually there is shit that is going to intersect. You know right. what I mean? Like, and that's the part that you got to focus on. Oh, yeah. Cheers, sir. Happy 100. Thank this you. is uh, Abel's La Marie Marianne. Their uh, culinary ale 5.0. That's pretty mm. good. That's pretty good. Like oh, that's that. like the perfect temp right there. Mm-mm, delicious. So I don't know if I'm going to do a Patreon, but, you know. I think once you get enough, uh, but at the same time, I mean, you get, you you have product to sell, which that helps too. Right. Like the ones on there usually aren't pushing product, but. Yeah, I mean, the stuff that I make, we obviously, like, we get the Facebook for selling things, that type of stuff and all that. I just like to teach people and show people what we're doing you know and that type of stuff but it's been i mean it's been really good since we got moved and you know more relaxed shops a little bit better a little bit better setup than what i had anyway so it sucked but it was a bonus in the same time because i have way more room in there and now some asshole yelling at you oh god it was such a pain in the ass and it's just that shop's away from everything else so when i go out there i don't deal with anything it's just make knives have fun so 
And, and I think it is, I think it's shown too. I think you know, looking at what I've made then and what I'm making now is two totally different things. You know what I mean? It's it's progressed so heavily just in that little bit of time. And you know, at the at the other place, it was um, you know the grinder was too high and the anvil was too high and this was too low and it sucked making anything and things weren't super super straight. Now it's like everything coming out of the shops like banging dead on. Fang Shui was off. Yeah, I'm no, sure. I was yeah, definitely off. Yeah. But it's um, it's coming together now. I'm, man, I'm so stoked to be there. That Cleveland one's fucking sick. Uh, the other one's nice too. I like it. You have one similar to that one, or maybe I saw that one, or maybe it's because I shared the picture. Probably because you shared the picture. Maybe. I mean, there's not. I don't think I've made any one that's even close to the same. Even this Cleaver, like the Cleaver I made for uh, Joe Paddish, it's like a totally different realm. You know what I mean? It's more squared off it's uh i like, like the a hammer. straight up just meat cleaver yeah it had um it had wood handles um left the hammer marks in it um i mean it a badass cleaver but this thing's just totally the other side of that it's a work apart yeah i mean it's a it's a good looking blade and i don't know you know anything's for sale so pastures are up 600 bucks <laughs> sure. i don't know if i'm getting 600 bucks my name ain't jay nielsen or <laughs> doug markaida or yeah. Well, eventually they, or you know, at some point they decide to sell it for six hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So now people think it's going right. <laughs> I think the next thing I'm going to try to make is, um, I think I'm going to try to make a kukri. I've been yeah. saying that forever. I've been saying I'll make a kukri. I'll make a kukri. Yeah. I think that's next. New project. Actually, the next thing I'm making is a wife a kitchen knife. All right. So after you make, how much would you charge for a said kukri? Are you starting to alter your design already? Yeah, because I think that's. M- that's what I have in mind, but I can't remember how the blade looked. You got a good start right there. Yeah, right. It's something like that, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So I can, I'll, I'll tune it up and send you. Say, hey, what do you think about this? And then you just tell me what you want. And if you want it black, like that is, or if you want it, you know, hammered. Do you? I mean, there's so many. Dude, you know. Apparently, we got to decide on a color scheme. I know for the show because this, this might be this third, second, or third time it's been we've been asked about her. The colors for the show, like we don't even we don't have a logo. We don't. It's just us. So I don't. We're characters enough. I do have somebody designing a T-shirt, but I got to give them time to work because it's like, well, how do you how do you feel about it? I'm like, to be honest, I don't know. The who you were telling me about did the painting? No, but no, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, Um, yeah. I did see that one. They they posted a picture on Instagram about it or of it. You are? I didn't even look when I was there. I was going to draw you up something, too. Believe it or not, Mm. I I had so many art forever. I want to have like three... Well, that's why I asked for different artists to get three different looks. And then like a $20 Applebee's gift card. (laughs) No, I'm just A $25... No. no, He's like, fuck it, I'm going to Applebee's, man. I got something for you. No, the way I figured it is that if semi-design... I'm going to take it, get X amount of, you know, each size, uh, ask for a quote on what it's going to cost, pay it, like figure out how many I'm going to buy to get it started to see how much they push first and then adjust the price to one, cover the t-shirt and shipping, two, to pay the artist $2 per shirt and then the rest to at least a dollar for us two or two to put in the bank to again buy more shirts later to invest back into it we need window stickers so if fucking stick families can get on millions of cars yeah but well, they got like could star not wars know. ones and zombie ones now whoever, not, yeah, whoever made the original that shit, one i know whoever made you that know what shit, stickers are kids. freaking huge everything on youtube it, everybody's got a fucking sticker yeah that's what i don't oh, have stickers when first. i yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, here we go. I don't have stickers. I, got, I do you have a logo. Yours? I see I that. do. I do. I actually got uh, cards made up, and uh, they came out nice. We have business cards. Yeah. But again, our the background of the business cards is us. Because <laughs> we just sexy bitches, man. I, I like that. I don't know. It's, mm. I like with the, like a bluish it, gray. You like, know what it is? Yeah. We're just all out there about it. But you know, just see, us. eventually, like we're gonna get big enough, and either. We're going to have to pay uh, Warner Brothers and Disney. Mm. 
or they're gonna have to pay us because we're advertising for them. Yeah, don't so, go Disney, man. Star Wars went Disney. Well, I know that's what I'm saying. Don't, it's don't what's on that. his shirt in the picture that I have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's yeah, got a to, he's got a Star Wars shirt. We're gonna have to pay royalty. Come on, the new ones. The new ones have been pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you, you cannot tell better, me you're not better than the to fucking the prequel. Jedi. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. dude, you seen? You, we're going on a mandate for it. No, I'm going with you then. You yeah, saw me be comment on your live. We're fucking going <laughs> on Facebook, right? Yeah. She's yeah, like, I can't oh, wait. another one. I'm like, and he's yeah. like, she just doesn't know. I'm like, no, no. she does not know. <laughs> no, Star I'm, Wars. I watched the. Uh, I wa- I was at work. Um, what was I it? I mean, if it, we're talking prequels, fuck them. But no, fuck since, one through since three. Since Disney, man. like since Disney, those are ones that the Force Awakens was all right, and uh, Rogue One. I thought was I just decent. watched Ro- Rogue One again for like the third yeah. or fourth time the other day. It was pretty good. Yeah, they're not bad. It I actually just, made I just me wonder wanna... that Disney is involved in that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's but not I mean, look Lucas. at their directors, J. B- fucking Abrams, and yeah. um, I forget who they did uh, for Rogue One. I'm not gonna lie, it made me want to watch the New Hope. It did. I, I it was good enough to make me want to continue on the series from where the series really started. Fans are trying to get Disney to release the New Hope uh, trilogy original. Fuck that digitally remaster with all them extra edit the bullshit where it changed up the movie. They want. Yeah, I had. They that. want the yeah. straight original shit. Give me my fucking new shit, all new graphic to make it look dope as fuck, but. I want, I don't want the stupid fake shit that they added like a century later that you can tell is a different technology. Right. Yeah. Like now they have the technology to make it look like it's that old shit. I seen that the other day watching the was it Return of the Jedi and where they're in the desert and you see the I forget what those things are called but the things with the horns they're not tauntauns but what the sand yeah, people rode yeah. and yeah. you seen that part and Sanders like that looks fake I'm like yeah because the added part <laughs> he's like it doesn't look real I actually caught. The last, uh, actually, the first ten minutes of Howard the Duck. Oh fuck on yeah, dude! Free Roam the other day. I think it was Free Roam. He's uh, been on HBO. Yeah, and with this whole like boost in the whole MCU thing, they've already shown him a couple. I think twice in the movies already. But yeah, I caught the first ten minutes. It looks it looks so bad, so bad. But it's still entertaining to watch. But. What I was going to say about... The old about, one? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, original, the original yeah, shit. Yeah. Where he's a fucking... You know, he's basically a Muppet, <laughs> yeah. dude. It was, it was like he's a, a midget sh- in a yeah. duck costume shaking his ass trying to Pretty get some much. titties and some ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I watched the first like 10 minutes of that and then I had to change it because the kids were around. Cause Fuck. That is not... 80, 80s, borderline, movies, yeah. 80s movies are a lot worse than they are now. Yeah, like but, as far as like a G movie back then is like a... A PG thirteen now. Oh right, right for sure. <laughs> With all the innuendo that was in Disney movies back in the day, like when they were still drawing them, not just Pixar, but yeah, which are bomb ass movies still too. But it's a totally different experience. But what I was gonna say about the CGI, um, I watched Wonder Woman recently. Have you seen this yet? No. Okay, so I watched it. it was a really good movie. I've she heard fucking hot. She's really hot. But the CGI looks bad in that movie. And I had, yeah, and I had a little bit of the same problem with the uh, Superman Superman versus versus Batman. Batman. The The CGI at the end. I didn't like that. It looked very separated, like foreground, background. Yeah. Like, it it definitely looked overlaid in some spots. Yeah. But. It's kind of that Zach Miller style. All right, I got one for you. Is it the style or is it just. Yeah, I mean, look at. Look at uh, three hundred. I mean, three hundred. That was I think a little was bit done graphically better, but you have you have a bigger. I don't even know what to call it. Like a, a more supernatural thing going on. You know what I mean? Like you have yeah. Doomsday. Like you didn't have that. You had a, a guy that you could make look taller than what he is. But like if you look at the fight scenes in the Avenger movies, um, they just seem a little bit smoother and polished, more polished in but there were a few scenes and I'm not saying the entire movie like but there were just th- two or three like fight scenes in the movie that just seemed very you could tell they're standing behind a green or you know in front of a green screen with you know shit digitally put on behind it it just didn't look right yeah um, i think i think it's just, just i think I'm it's picky. because it's his it's just that look to it like he's got that darker look to his movies yeah i don't want to tell you anymore because if you watch it you'll have that in the back of your mind but yeah <laughs> she is hot as fuck though she is Gail get it good dog good dog however you want to say it it's beautiful she's fucking hot wonder no? woman i mean she's not linda carter i mean no she's not exactly i, mean, I, I did say that <laughs> though when i first saw her <laughs> it's not linda carter i mean 
I can't. I mean, I'll drag off to her now, but <laughs> it won't. It won't be the same like when I was doing it at eight when they were doing showing reruns and shit. It won't be as enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. No. When they first show her in like the the whole outfit, it's like mm, that's a that's a good second place right there. <laughs> yeah, second place for sure. Linda Carter was hot. Totally different era, and it's still good. Yeah. Wish she'd be uh. as hot now. I saw a picture of her not long ago. I mean, she still, still she still looks very good. good. I mean, when she was in Super Troopers, mm. uh, she still looked good there. Yeah. I think she's been in something else too since then. But yeah. that's another. one. I can't wait for that side. movie, dude. That movie looks funny as hell. Super Trooper Two. What about Army of Darkness? <laughs> that was good stuff. Yeah. Bruce Campbell. Yeah. I it's been a while like, since I've seen that. I got people. I got some friends, and I'm like, Army of Darkness. They're like, that movie's so stupid. I'm like, dude, it's Bruce Campbell, cult following. Yeah, dude. right. You gotta, you gotta take him for this character because right. that's who he is. Like, just it's I almost like Army Jason Darkness. Bateman. Like, yeah, he's just got that style of person. Yeah. Are you referencing Ozarks? No, but oh. I mean, just just in general, like I like I think, him. Oh yeah, yeah he's got but, like this weird, nice, way. smart yeah. ass, dry sense humor where he's got good timing. I mean, it's like Ryan Reynolds. And that's why he's perfect to play Deadpool, the real oh, Deadpool, for sure. not the bullshit one. Not the like it's, Origins Deadpool. They just fit yeah. into those <laughs> things. Like I liked uh, Bruce Campbell. You ever watch that show that was on USA? Um, Burn Notice. Yeah, dude. He was fucking good in that, too. Yep. That was a dope-ass show. Yeah. I, I love Bruce Campbell. I think he's a shit. He, he, just, he was on uh, the radio not too long ago talking about the books he just wrote for um, B-Class Movie Superstar. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a shit, man. He's a good dude. That um, was my childhood right there. Right. Staying up way too late, you know, 11.30 when USA turned into... <laughs> <laughs> fucking softcore porn <laughs> a long night with Ron Deshear <laughs> yeah man Dude, USA uh, turned into softcore porn man this shit was like skin and max light uh, yeah. loved it yeah that was... we, we couldn't get that extra package but USA nah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Cinemax in my house we got squiggly marks but we got USA yeah <laughs> Ron Deshear was half uh, naked half the time anyway Friday night uh, <laughs> Saturday night she was hot too <laughs> Found her on YouTube the other day. And, and then so Halloween good time. Child, good childhood memories right there. <laughs> right? Every October uh, they floated shit. out Elvira. Elvira. <laughs> yeah. Every fucking Halloween. Oh shit. oh, shit. I love October. She was just on something, too, I saw recently. Um, the food. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know she's a redhead? I did Serious? know that, yeah. She's a straight up redhead, yeah, dude. That ginger. Yeah. yeah. Big time ginger. Yeah. I've oh, seen some uh, pretty even, scantily photos of that, her, and she's she's definitely redheaded. That's even better. Yeah, <laughs> man, them are some thoughts I haven't thought about in a long time. Uh, USA used to be the shit back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, man. <clears throat> and then too many, it's too many fucking cop shows on. Everything is NYPD, fucking something. Half like, of CBS is lined up. Jesus, yeah, and yeah. it's not just New York now; it's LA or Miami, New Orleans, Ohio, and fucking Jesus, Montana. Christ. What's the What's the other one? Um, something blue. Chicago blue. No, no rookie, rookie blue. Yeah, I something like that. Blue shields. Wife watches <laughs> USA all in the shows. She likes to watch Live balls. PD. She watches all Baywatch. <sighs> well, Brendan, appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you helping me set up everything too from the last yeah, time. Man. That was great. Everything's going smooth. Everything's able to link everything together. Yeah, it's man. It's so much nicer to have everything just bleep 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 and yeah. uh, you know throw a picture on. We're done or making or whatever. It's uh, it's awesome. So people, more people following, more people interested. I'm gonna put everything in the notes again, but tell everybody where they can find you in case they don't go look. But they we, should go look. We are on YouTube at Down South Survival, uh, Instagram at BCK Knives, Facebook Down South Survival and BCK Knives both. Nice. Check us out. We're gonna be having some giveaways. Some cool stuff coming up other people that we're linked to sub subscriber wise they're having a lot of cool giveaways so check us out because uh it's gonna be awesome you find gonna, other content same i mean same if you're in, interested in knives you're definitely gonna find some stuff that you're gonna like oh yeah <laughs> fuck yeah dude i gotta take pictures of these and these and uh we're gonna be up. we're gonna be bringing them out hardcore now that we're set up nice happy 100
Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Appreciate it. Peace. Peace. And there you go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said at the beginning, Billy and I, you know, we really appreciate your support. Uh, share, spread the word. If you guys like what's going on, review us on iTunes, five star it. Uh, that helps us. That's just another way to show support. Uh, share the episodes. Get get more people involved. Let's build this thing. Let's uh, let's all work together and and build a community. Basically, people that you can rely on. We're gonna rely on you. You rely on us. And as long as we work together, we'll make this thing grow. Um, go to offcolordiscussions.blueberry.net. Subscribe there. Tell your friends to go there. There's beer review pages, so all the beers that we drink now, you can go up there and check them out. And you know, maybe if it's something that you're interested in, you you find a way to get some. Um, go follow us on Twitter at OC Discussions. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Look for us on Facebook. Message us. Interact. We'll get back to you, man. We're we're all about communication and commuting and conversations. That's what that's what this is. Uh, the song for the week. That kid cry coming. I'm. Uh, why can I not say this? Uh, I'm not editing it down, so I don't care. Uh, that kid cry out of the Pacific Northwest. I think it's Oregon, but that's why I just keep saying the Pacific Northwest because I'm not 100 sure. But anyways, uh, I like his music. Uh, he sent me four songs, and I felt this one is a sound that relates to what we're about also. So check him out, That Kid Cry. He's on Facebook. Hit him up. Find his music. Uh, all his links will be in the show notes. And, yeah, here it is, Where the Wild Things Go. We've been walking where the wild things are Steady looking for the light we star Though the dark and we feeling just a little too gone Floating down a river but my inner tubes lost Searching for an end in the loops On a loop in the woods right now When we on them blues Anywhere I go I bring a lawn chair too Cause shit's too rough not to feel this smooth That's okay, yeah that's okay The journey never stops, yeah the path don't break Found a world with some love and a fat old A Yeah the boat gon' leak and these paddles break But I don't care, fuck fair it's alright It'll happen for no reason when we living it like There's no breaks, big crash and you get Surprise that a wreck could result in the loss of your life I know you've been wondering about where we will go Yo, my crew is full of wild things and everybody knows We've been waltzing around these trees and keep our moments on the low Where the wild things will go in our pajamas, man, yo, we been relaxed We went and locked our souls deep inside the tracks Yeah, it's all for you, you can't give it back We gave you this key just to raise your hands That's how we do it in the woods, do it in the mud Dread while I'm spitting, even do it in the flood Dream me of my energy, but never of my love With the team right now, keep it fluid in the lungs Doing what we want, fuck the flavor of your ice cream Hating on the life of another, don't excite me Pouring out the whiskey in a cup full of ice tea My snapbacks all crown, but my head fits it nicely Goons gon' prowl like we do it on the nightly World's gon' spin, so we hanging on tightly Covered in the dirt of everybody doing work they said we never gonna learn about the places that we might be i know you've been wondering about where we will go yo my crew is full of wild things and everybody knows we've been waltzing around these trees and keep our moments on the low where the wild things will go, wild things will go. roll tide Old vibes let loose like we never gonna see another night My eyes are the treasure, never keep them on the prize Trees gon' fall and the beats gon' climb We keep this alive, we believe what we write Got the beer that we like and the needles are pine Look through the trees and we see in the skies To watch for the stars, you just look in our eyes We wild things, different from all of our peers Changing and changing through all of these years Watching and waiting, they follow me here Some didn't make it through all of their fear Been living their life, they'll always be close Stay wild for y'all, pick a place and we'll go Skin is so thick, we don't know when it's cold our world is our bond and together we're home I know you've been wondering about where we will go Yo, my crew is full of wild things and everybody knows We've been waltzing around these trees and keep our moments on the low Where the wild things will wild go